situated just on the edge of Dartmoor National Park, is a beautiful and atmospheric place to visit. Over thousands of years, the River Lid has chiselled a one and a half mile gorge to form a spectacular chasm in the hills. At one end lies the impressive Devil's Cauldron Whirlpool, while the hundred foot high White Lady Waterfall is at the other. Starting along the upper path, the circular walk is about three miles long. This part of the walk is fairly easy, with spectacular views down to the gorge below. Eventually, the path leads down to the bottom of the gorge, where the river lid crashes and flows in dramatic fashion. But be warned, because as you will see later, this part of the walk can be quite hazardous. The terrain can be treacherous in places, with several steep inclines and narrow, sometimes slippery paths. For an easier walk and superb views down to the gorge, keep to this winding upper path. The start of the walk is signposted from the National Trust entrance at the shop at Lifford Gorge. There is also a free map of the route, which helps you to make your way around the gorge by following the numbered posts. The first section of the walk takes you through Lambhole Wood, a mix of lime, elm, hawthorn, cherry, laurel and horse chestnut trees. Go on, put you. It's keeping down onto that tree with it's too much force. It's not in it off and making it all rounded. Lidford Gorge is the deepest gorge in southwest England and is a designated site of special scientific interest. Acquisition of the gorge by the National Trust began in 1944 and the Trust now owns 116 acres across the valley. To take everything in, it's best to do the entire walk it's about three miles and should take approximately two hours. But if, like us, you want to stop and take in the views or make use of the much needed seats, the walk could take three to four hours. Passing through the dense Watervale and Lampo Wood, you enter the gorge down a steep slope. You're completely surrounded by the trees in this section and it could feel dark even on a bright day. The path leads to the spectacular 90 foot high White Lady Waterfall. It's a fine example of a hanging valley or river capture where one river cuts through the other. And this is a good example of what they call river capture where the river Lid, which is in front of me, has it eroded into the White Lady Falls River and it's called river capture and this happens over obviously over millennia over thousands of years but this is a good example where another river is eroded into the path of another river and it's created this falls why is it called white ladies falls well rumor has it that this place is haunted by a lady in a white gown and um, sometimes it's said that as night starts to creep in she will appear so um Maybe time to push on.
what goes down must at some point come back up again. Crossing the little bridge at White Ladies Falls, the walk back is next to the river and it can be quite arduous. You need to be fairly fit for this part of the walk and it's not really suitable for those less able. After prolonged rain spells, it can be slippery underfoot and water seems to flow out of the rocks everywhere. The water is percolating down through and coming through the shallot on the cliff face up there. The walk here is next to the river and takes you over slippery granite so you have to hold on to the rail which is provided. Depending on the river height, the water can be quite close to your feet. The secret here is to take things carefully. Pixie Glen offers a moment of calm and serenity before you arrive at the Devil's Cauldron which you can hear swirling and crashing in the distance. For most people, the Devil's Cauldron is the highlight of the visit to Lidford. The power of the river has honed out a cavern from solid granite and created an incredible whirlpool and wall of noise. The visit to Lidford is spectacular and dramatic as well as peaceful and beautiful. Just keep an eye out for the ghostly figure of the White Lady. <laughs> <laughs> 